is your first alert five weather with Sam Schreier. Well, good morning, everyone. It is already feeling pretty good outside in Springs and Pueblo. Now, despite the cold front coming through, the temperatures are actually kind of mild because that wind did not allow us to cool as well during the overnight hours. Still blowing out of the northwest of the Springs and north of Pueblo at about 21, 22 miles per hour. And the humidity has started to go up. Dew points have been pushed back into the 40s. They were in the 20s yesterday. Now, because of the moisture coming into the state, especially when the winds turn out of the east later, we will run that moisture up the elevations. So there's a slight risk all the way from Denver down to the east side of Colorado Springs and through the plains. The plains have the best shot of severe weather today, but that marginal risk does extend over towards that I-25 corridor into the mountains. Again, I'm going to keep saying it, the plains where some of the best chances for rain and thunderstorms are later today. This is the setup that cold front already pushing on south is dropping in cooler air. You will notice highs much better today, but is that wind behind this low translates back out of the east. That's the fuel for us to get some thunderstorms going. Now in our hour by hour from this morning out towards noon and then one o'clock, we are still expected to be dry. Now, if any storms want to develop and look at the modeling here, there's two areas for it down south, kind of kicking off the Raton Mesa and pushing east through Los Animas into Baca County, maybe sliding through southern Crowley County and also the Pikes Peak area. Now at two o'clock, and this is 2.30, the modeling has a storm just east of the city. Now again, the best chances for storms today are east of the city, but there is some rain that'll try to develop over Colorado Springs and up to Monument. This storm complex could be severe over the springs, but it's more likely they'll get a lot stronger to the plains where the energy is better for severe weather. Four o'clock, a couple more storms kind of off and around El Paso County. Again, most of it pushing out east, kind of riding just along and south of the Palmer Divide. And through the afternoon, we'll keep getting more storms that go out to those eastern plains. Could see a little storm action through Lamar over by Otero County. Now, after 6 o'clock, a smaller secondary wave looks to try to drop some more showers and a thunderstorm or two back into Colorado Springs. And that should kind of ride Highway 24 then out to the plains. So there's two storm chances, one in the afternoon and then a second round again tonight. If you live in Pueblo, you have a small chance of storms, but it's more so tonight. Your seven day forecast actually went two on our storm impact scale because Colorado Springs could see some severe weather, some hail maybe up to about dime to golf ball size somewhere in that or excuse me quarter size not golf ball is possible today with 90s and mainly dry weather through the extended forecast. So Pueblo you have a chance for storms today. However, it's not going to be nearly as strong as what we're seeing again up by Colorado Springs hundreds though towards next week. Canyon City, this is what I'm tracking in your forecast. Really looking pretty dry today. The energy is better over by El Paso County, not really Fremont County for storms. Mid 90s and pretty warm through next week. Finally, Woodland Park. Now, normally we give you a pretty good chance, but the problem is the energy is still better actually in El Paso County instead of Teller. So I hope you get a storm today that would help with the fire in Woodland Park or Teller County, but most of the energy looks east, Allison. Man, we really just need anything we can get at this point. And it's not the relief we need, but any little bit is going to help. Well, the one thing that will help is it's going to be a lot cooler. So for the mm -hmm. firefighters out working, way more comfortable for them to fight this thing. Which, you know, we need our firefighters as comfortable as possible at this yes, point, do. too. Mm -hmm. And so bless them for all the work they're doing <laughs> out there. And in